they got on stage and everyone just stood up and cheered and it was all like Jack Jack like 17,000 strong screamed my name and you just can't really nothing gets better than that it kind of made uh, what I went through all worth it I want to tell you about my son he's the bravest person I know he's my hero his name is Jack and this is his story. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was nine years old. My blood was like sludge, so I could have easily had a stroke. The next day, some kids phoned us and told us come into sick kids right now. Hockey was my one dream, you know. Once I got diagnosed, it was kind of like, you see that dream slipping away, and that's your lifestyle, and that's what you planned on doing for your life, and uh, it was absolutely devastating. There's a lot of support out there, and that's one thing that helped me the community support was amazing. It really makes you feel like you're not going through this alone and that that whole team is cheering for you to go through this and get better. And that's one of the nicest things ever. Everyone from the community showed up. From them, we kind of realized how much we could help raise money for cancer and give back. I thought I'd take more walking breaks and things, but I just kept saying in my head, Terry Fox did it, so I think I can. <laughs> Every year since uh, grade six, I've been going around to uh, schools, talking with my father about uh, the Terry Fox run, talk about my story for one, and uh, all the things that are involved with going through treatment, the Cancer Society itself, what teachers and uh, principal staff, and all the people at the school can do, even the kids, um, to get involved with Terry Fox and uh, the challenges and how to raise awareness and raise money for uh, Terry Fox. So the torch run was by far the best thing I've ever done in my life, the most amazing experience. Uh, you can't really put into words how it meant to you and how it felt because it was all surreal. <laughs> It's all about frame of mind.